Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am having dumpling soup with some, I forgot what you call Korean sides, but basically Korean sides and some galbi that I have left over. So let's dig right in because I'm starving. Dang, it's gonna really bother me that I don't remember what sides are called. Ugh. I should have <laughs> looked it up before filming. But basically I'm doing kind of like a leftovers kind of mukbang because I have so many leftovers and they're all pretty freaking amazing and I would love to utilize them and eat them with you guys. So this I actually made on my own, it's homemade. <laughs> it was so easy but I was so proud when I made it because it's actually so freaking good. I kinda wanna dig into the galbi first. So this is all that I had left and I have some rice right here. First bite. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Fish cake. Mm. Cucumber kimchi. Mm. Everything is still so fresh. I love it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I just got a little bit paranoid that it wasn't recording for some reason, even though it hasn't happened in a very long time because I am pretty on point with it now. I think back then I totally rushed my mukbangs, like the starting of it, because I was always so stressed. I had such little time because I was working, and now I feel like when I now that I do have more time and I'm not in a rush for anything really. And I feel like back then I used to be in a rush for nothing. Like for everything in my life, I'll just be rushing, rushing, rushing. And sometimes I do struggle with that still. But it's much better now. Mm-hmm. It's crunchy. What is that? I feel like I was about to freaking break my teeth with that bite. Mm. I have to say, the kimchi I get from Kaju is my favorite kimchi of all time. I really need to ask them where they get it from or if they make it themselves, which I feel like they might make it themselves. But I like my kimchi more on the sweeter side uh, rather than like, what is it? Like rather than pickled and super bitter, so and carbonated. But in this, I just feel like Kaju's kimchi is just so. Let me have another bite so I can describe it good for you. It's just like very light. 
light and there's no carbonation at all i don't mind the carbonation but i love how it's sweet and just like it's calming <laughs> all right let's get into the dumpling soup this one already has a dumpling sticking out oh okay i guess i just eat this first because it fell out this is pork and vegetable dumpling Ooh, it's hot Mmm, it's so good though. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's take a bite of this big one. Mmm. So good. These are the Ling Ling dumplings. Or, or, I think they're called Ling Ling. Or little, I think it's Ling Ling. I'm gonna stick with Ling Ling. And I got these accidentally when I was trying to get some plant-based dumplings. But these came instead and I felt like, dude, I might as well use them today. And I'm so glad. They're actually amazing. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. I made the soup so good. Try not to brag, but I added some peppers in there, so it's spicy. But then it's I didn't put like chili oil, so it's spicy but not oily. And then I added chicken broth and garlic. Mm -mm -mm. I just wish I had some ginger. That'd be really good. Oh, it's spicy. My nose is running. And I want to finish this. Excuse me. Mm, mm, mm. Whew. I feel like I'm already getting full, even though I feel like I haven't even eaten that much. I just love this kimchi so much. All right, last one. That one is so good. I'm so glad that I didn't um, end up ordering 
any new food because I kind of had this for dinner today, but I did cook a bunch of food yesterday. I posted on my Instagram the tofu and um, tomato Vietnamese dish. And uh, yeah, yesterday I was kind of feeling off. I was very, very fatigued and my mood was just very low. I feel like I was vibrating kind of low. So usually when I'm feeling that way, cooking always makes me feel better. So yes, one of my hobbies is cooking, even though I don't do it too much, but whenever I do, it actually just makes me feel productive and I put in a lot of love into my meals and then I also share it with my roommates. So it's just, it's a good pick me up. And so I was like, okay, then I might as well use my leftovers for my mukbang. Because I really hate wasting food, you guys. And lately, my appetite's been kind of weird. I feel like my stomach hasn't been able to handle large amounts of food in one sitting as it usually does. And so I've just been patient with myself. I'm like, I feel like a lot of people have been saying that on TikTok. If you guys have TikTok, I wonder if you guys have seen the videos that I have or it's just on my For You page because it's relevant to me. Because honestly, TikTok's For You page is really meant for you, like... I would be thinking something and then it would pop up on my feed. I'm just like, all right then. <laughs> so, okay, I mixed the soup into the rest of my rice. I don't have that much left, but you know how I, you, guys, you guys know that I love eating my soup with rice. Mm mm mm. I should have got a bigger spoon. <laughs> okay. Mmm. So good. I need to make this more often. I feel like no matter how much soup I'm putting in here, it's not enough. <laughs> I should just poured it in. Oh well. Mm. So much comfort. <laughs> I realize that I say that a lot. I call a lot of food comforting, but that's what it is. Has anyone else been really tired or has it been just me? In the past couple days, I've just been so, so fatigued and so like drained. And you know what I'm about to say, I'm about to bust out, because I'm about to bust out that it could be the possibility of the new moon for those of you that, you know, stay updated, updated with the moon cycles and harness it's energy and even on the new moon i'm usually crazy on manif my manifest my manifesting but even on sunday i was like so lazy so i did everything the lazy way i manifested lazily and my rituals rituals were lazy but at least i did it but i just feel like yeah i've just been so drained let me know if anybody else has felt the same way because it will help me feel not so alone. Alright guys, I think this is where I'm going to stop. I wasn't planning to eat all the sides because I like to use it for my dinners my dinners as well. And this, I'm definitely going to have for dinner as well. With the tofu. I just have so much food, but I'm for sure going to finish them all by this week. And <clears throat> what would I rate this out of five? 
This has been such an amazing meal actually. It was it's my first meal and I feel like it's really given me the energy to start my day and get going because I gotta go to the gym in a couple hours and I went real I like procrastinated this morning to go because I woke up even later. I couldn't get out of bed. And yeah, so this meal has to be a five out of five. I love all the sides from Kaju. They always give the best and the galbi from Kaju is always so tender, juicy, everything you want in galbi. And my dumpling soup still amazes me. I love when I make food and it, even though it's simple and it tastes good, I'm like, oh, she did that. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Also turn on push notifications. And I'll see you next time. Peace.